Winter Farmer's Market is one of those gems you find in communities all over Maine. A place to meet up for sweet treats, hot drinks, and vendors selling just what your family needs. On Sunday, November 22nd, BCTV stopped by the first farmer's market of the season. We found dedicated vendors selling beautiful vegetables, meats, and handcrafted items. Between customers, BCTV asked the vendors how COVID has impacted their farm or business. Here is what we found. Great, thank you. And what's the name of your business? Two Toad Farm. T W O T O A D. You got it. And where's that? It's in Springvale, Maine. Been in business for a while? This is our 13th year farming full time. Mary Beth, what kind of products do you have at your farm? Um, we are mostly a vegetable farm. Um, we grow over 200 varieties of vegetables. Um, we also do chicken and eggs and certified organic lamb. Do you have the lamb right on your property? We do. Yep. Oh, excellent. And yep. Um, how's business been? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Are you um, coming to all the farmers markets? Is this uh, will you and will you be going throughout the winter? Yes, we do a lot of storage crops um, and the lamb, so we have a lot of stuff to sell um, in the winter: yeah, eggs, meat, and vegetables. Has it affected your business? It definitely has affected our business. Um, oddly enough, it seems like at the beginning it tended to help our business a lot. It seems like the interest in local food. Um, blossomed at the beginning of the pandemic because people realized how unstable the industrial food system is and how a pandemic like this could easily shut down the supply chains. So in you know the early spring, we would open our farm stand and we would have people waiting 45 minutes in line to get vegetables. And we would sell everything that we had every week. So it's amazing. Um, it seems the same as happening with the farmer's markets this summer where People felt a lot safer going outside and doing their shopping and not going to grocery stores. Um, so the farmer's market attendance was also very great this summer. So I hate to see a bright side of a pandemic, but it's definitely helped local farmers. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, um, I'm the manager of the Sanford Farmer's Market and, you know, convincing, first of all, convincing the town to let you open during a pandemic um, was difficult. I mean, there's a lot of fear. So, and learning, I mean, learning how to run a market safely during a pandemic has, has been a challenge. Kind of training the public on how to adhere to new protocols was a challenge. You know, not people, especially in a farmer's market, people, part of the attraction is being able to come and touch the vegetables and pick out the stuff you like. And it's part of the fun. I mean, I know people do that in the grocery store too, but for some reason at the farmer's market, the stuff is so fresh and there's so many things you don't see at the grocery store. So not being able to touch the produce has um, hurt a little bit. Um, same thing with our farm stand. Our farm stand is very small, so we don't allow people into the farm stand anymore, which we used to. Um, we do all out the window, so it's very hard where people can't see up close the vegetables that they're buying. So um, training people to come and not touch and look and let us, you know, model the vegetables, you know. How does this one look, you know? Um, <laughs> and you know to wait in line and and wear masks um it was very nerve-wracking at first but people seemed to pick up the protocols really quickly and be very respectful and we haven't had any problems this is my full-time business have yep. you been able to get any relief funds or any other help during covid um we haven't applied for any yet um we are working to get some drought relief fund which affected us a lot more negatively than the pandemic actually Sure. Yeah, very dry summer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and is there anything that you need other than the water for the for the drought relief or, uh, to thrive or to survive going full? To help um, you? More people coming out to the farmers markets um, and realizing that this is really an awesome, safe alternative to going to the grocery store. Um, and yeah, always more people at the market. <laughs>